So here we go. We're at DFW Airport on the way to your home country slash town slash something, right? Where are we going? Forward slash London. London! We're going to where the Queen lives, buddy. You know what? I've heard this thing and you always bother me about the Queen's English. And so I got on rosettastone.com and I was trying to find the Queen's English <laughs> and all I could find was English. No, 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 it's the Queen's English, not the American English. I don't it's, think there's a difference. No, there is. It's like proper spelling, it's like where it originated from, pronunciation. Pronunciation? Well, we call it pronouncing. Well, I get that, dude, but the Queen's never said the word tater. Well, I'm here in Texas, sure. we say insurance, cement, and July. Cement, and July? Yeah. So okay. anyways, we're going to London, and we're going to check out uh, Petro Hedonism Live. Now, you picked this all up for us, and I know it's your friend Shiro, or Chiro. 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 Oh, like the Mexican treat they sell with the cinnamon on it? Uh, Mexican, but more Italian. Oh, okay, cool. So, this guy's been doing this for a long time, and we're going to, mm -hmm. like, some kind of crazy castle on the lawn, and we're checking it out. What's it called? Uh, Full-on yeah. stately home. Medworth House. Stately home? Stately home. I don't know. Did I, I don't have any shirts to say gas monkey with a tie. Uh, we, can, we can figure it out. Don't worry. I got you covered. All right. Well, this should be fun. I'm actually looking forward to it. I've been trying to get you there for 15 years. This is a big moment for me. Can you get you to the hometown? Let me tell you something. You're going to get me there after 15 years to your hometown and everything else, and they're never going to fucking let me come back. Ever. <laughs> for any reason. Woo! Here we are in London, England on a beautiful morning. What time is it here? Beautiful, cooler morning. 6.15 a.m., brother. 6.15 a.m.? Uh-huh. The only time I've ever seen this after sleeping is, well, never. <laughs> Usually I see 6.15 before I go to bed. After a late night, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's <laughs> up? I made it, man. What's up, Chief? Hey, you, you picked me up. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> you think I'm going to miss an event like this? It's oh, supposed man. to be every car on this side of the planet in one place. We've got Americana, Classic, Supercars, Hypercars, and Highly Modified. Everything. Anything I can drive? Yeah, man. You can drive my Lambo. No. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it. We're just rolling up. This is a prequel to what's going to be going on tomorrow. See, we do it right here uh, in England where we actually do the thing before the thing instead of going back to do the thing before the thing. And like hopefully we do, we do the thing after the thing as yeah, well. Yeah, we're going to do some of that. What, First, what did the you ladies... just say? I didn't understand it. It's, it. Yeah, I know, right? It's about the <laughs> thing, bro. I've had a dream for about five years to bring together a huge event on this scale. Nebworth is the place and a big part of that dream was to get Richard Gas Monkey to the UK for an event. We couldn't have held that at my hotel, we couldn't have held it at one of my other venues, we had to come somewhere big. So if you're going to go all in, we go all in. Everything on 32 Red, let's go. Woo! What's, What's up everyone? On? How's everybody doing? Right on. So uh, this is Nebworth House? Nebworth House. This is a lot more uh, cars than we saw yesterday when we were checking it out. But uh, day one of Petrol Hedonism Live and I can't be more stoked. I'm pretty freaked out. Just met Ollie the car kid. He's, uh, he's jamming. He's the new generation I'm talking about and looking at cars. So that's pretty cool. If you're not following him, you should be. And uh, on top of that, we got a Centurion here with some of their really, really badass rides. Uh, and then we've got all kinds of different groups of Beamers, Lambos, Ferraris, Hot Rods. I mean, there's just about every single thing in the world represented here, isn't there? And we've got British beer. British beer? British well, beer, that's real why ale. I shipped in my own Miller Lite. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see some cars right on. How's everybody doing? Centurion, what's up, man? Hey, how are you doing? I'm Richard. What's up, Good Paul? Good to meet you. Hello, hey, Chris. Chris. How are you doing? Oh, okay, so you guys already know each other. I'm, I'm, Hello. Out, I'm out here in the nowhere land. <laughs> I'm just digging it. So uh, you got the biggest... Uh, coolest section so far that I've seen. What's the story with this? Yeah, so Centurion, you know, we always go big. We've got to be the best. So we've got all of our Mustangs, our Centurion Edition Mustangs. We've got the 1.6 million Hypercar Zenvo, 0 to 62.8 seconds, 1,200 brake horsepower, 1.4 tons. Now this is a one-off car, right? Like, I mean, y'all are making this car. Yes, yeah, so we're going to build 10 this year, 10 next year, limited numbers. But you make your own motor? Everything. So every part of the car is ours. The engine, the gearbox, the only things we don't make are the wheels, the tires, 
and the iPad in the center there. See, that's what's cool. You, you know, a lot of people are building these supercars and they're like taking this motor, these guys' transmissions, and they're, you know, sticking a, a, a carbon fiber body on it and they're acting like, oh, look what I made. If you're making your own motors and trannies and everything else, that's freaking cool. Yeah, we took years out to make sure that this was a hypercar that's everyday usable and everything is produced by us to our standard so that you have a hypercar that you can drive to the south of France and back in comfort and a reliable car as well. And you're going to give me one. Well, <laughs> we'll give you one to use in America, yeah. So check this out. The carbon looks different to me. These are bigger, I guess, uh, striations or bigger lines. Yeah, the important you... bit was our carbon technology. Uh, we think we've got the best carbon in the world. It definitely looks, how do you get in it? Or how do you open it? Look at that. Can I sit in it? Of course you can. Make sure I don't have I anything bro. sharp on me. Dude, I don't think I'm getting in that. Woo! That's pretty sexy. You got little uh, little tops. No, you can't see through that. It's my glasses. This is wicked cool. So she's got a dog box, 5.8, twin supercharged, 1177 horsepower. That is wicked, wicked cool. So on the rear spoiler thing, It'll lean into the corners, right? Yeah, so it's a central Peter wing. On braking, it will flip. On acceleration, it will flip backwards. Turn left, it gives you pressure left. Turn right, it gives you pressure right. Wow! That is That's wicked. incredible. So, uh, you're also making uh, like body kits and stuff for the Mustangs, right? Yeah, so we produce our own Centurion Edition Mustangs, our own Centurion Edition Rangers. Is that like this one here? Yeah, so we did this one especially for you because we know you love green. So, lowered suspension, our wheels, body kits, bespoke colour coding. We try to keep it subtle, we don't go over the top with them on the Centurion Edition. No, but that is subtle, it's just sexy. I mean, sometimes yeah. less is more, you don't Absolutely. want to get all crazy. And it is green. I can get down on this car. Show me your Ranger package. That thing's rad. I saw one Ranger the other day. Here? What's up everybody? Y'all having fun? Yeah. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got the XL edition, and then we have all the Centurion editions running to the back. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. We don't have this in America, I don't think. No. No. This is a diesel Ranger. That is rad because it's got the big Ford front end. This looks like a big truck over in, in, yep. in America. So I dig it. So how, how fast can you put on the, the kit? All so right. we have 40 to 50 of these in stock ready to go at any time. And if you want built to order, it's seven to 14 days, done. Start no to finish. That is rad. So if I you if it. you if you think about where we were in London a couple of days ago, you look at the sizes of the parking spaces. It's a lot different than where we live, and they look like the American spec one, but obviously they're just a little smaller. They work here. That's why we don't have F one fifties here that much. I want one of those. Oh, I think they're can, rad. Can you ship those into the U.S.? Yes, we can. Absolutely. That rad. That is a trip. Super cool. We gotta up our game in Dallas. There you go. We really do. So it's down cool. the bottom, there's a Range Rover I wanna see that you're gonna love. Okay. Look at this. There's people everywhere. You know what I love about going back to the Range Rover? Is, uh, I, I left my beer in the truck and it's real close. So Chris, 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 nice Chris, to meet you. Chris good mate. Mate. all they build are Amazing Range Rovers, so tell him all about uh, this Land Rovers, yeah. yeah. Land Rovers Wait a second though, this is a two-door. Where did yeah, so that come from? Classic Range Rover, but it's got your favourite engine in it. If you're going did on. they make this? Yeah, yeah. A two-door? Yes, sir. Chris, you know Oh! You recognise that engine, right? Love it! This has got to be a wicked fun to drive. It is, yeah. So, 470 horse one. Um, but we do... LSAs as well and bits and pieces like that, so we're looking at LSAs, all that sort of stuff. No um, kidding. We're doing Aston Martin motor as well, as well. <laughs> so what would this vehicle be like the body new? I mean, what year is this? So what we do, this is a 93 car. 93? So, what do is a, so they made the two-door body up to a two, uh, sorry, 90, sorry, eight, 94 for export, but not in the UK, so I'll bring them in and all that sort of stuff. But they're getting real popular in the States now. Heck yeah, they are. In oh, California. Freaking cool. Wow! Can I get in? Yeah, of course you can, man. You might struggle because it, we've got to sort out the seat position, but we've done all the. I wanted to go for sort of GT40 style. Yeah, I like it. Um, so Alcantara, leather. So it's got a uh, six-speed GM box. 
Porsche okay. only horse, uh, adjustable suspension. You can, hey, you know you want to rev it, mate. Right? I don't know, do I? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking cool. It sounds like a cool vet mode, you know? I like the old Balpunk style. Yeah, so I've got adjustable suspension. I'm sorry. No, I was looking at the Balpunk style. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking radio. of putting CarPlay. Am I, am I saying that right? Balpunk? Isn't that what those Balpunk, used to look like? Yeah, the German stuff, yeah. Yeah. But we're thinking, I've had a lot of customers say that they'd like CarPlay because CarPlay's a big thing now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So maybe I was thinking of having a screen that comes up so you can put your car, Apple CarPlay on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And or you can just do an iPad shift. there. And... Somebody wants paddle shift, then we're going to go keyless as well rather than having a key. So keyless start and all that sort of stuff, start button. Freaking super cool, man. Really nice. So uh, <laughs> it's already packed up. Tons of Gas Monkey fans, a lot of, a lot of people wearing Gas Monkey. Uh, it's pretty cool to see because I don't get to jump over the pond very often. Oh, there's our boys. We know Fab Works. Like so see you, see you, Liam. How's yes. everybody doing? You all right? Hey, so I heard your uh, your old lady likes this uh, everything seasoning, so we brought you over some from America. Oh, beautiful. She'll be over the moon about that. <laughs> there you go, dude. This is she's extra hungry. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> oh, should we please with that? So, man, you brought us a seed here a while back. I just haven't had a... Uh, I uh, found a, a truck to put it in yet, but you guys are killing it. You're everywhere. I'm starting to see your logos and and uh, what have you. Look at all this. You got more product than I do. <laughs> they do. From the best, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't learn much because I'm drinking beer and you're drinking no, coke. I'm, I'm driving back up tonight. <laughs> that would be no good. Fun. This is pretty cool rig. This has got a shower and everything. It's like one of those camping rigs. No way, man. My idea of roughing it is a hotel without room service. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be roughing it for me. So business is treating you well? Yeah, very well. Good, good, good. How about this thing? This is nuts. So it's a good show. It's, a, it's bigger than what I was expecting. Oh, I think the it's only... come out. You brought the weather with you, so... Well, I try to bring the weather with me everywhere I go. <laughs> but uh, this is pretty wicked. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I'm glad I got to jump over the old pond there, as they call it. Guys, I'm going to go roam around, and then I'm going to come back and drink some beer with you guys. Well, not with you, because you're driving. Y'all keep, keep doing the good work. Zach, how you doing, buddy? This is Richard. Hey, man. Nice How's to meet you. Going? Good, Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, dude. How you doing? Are all these cars yours? Some of them. That's freaking rad, man. All the best ones. All the best ones? <laughs> Did you bring any cheap ones? The Peel. The Peel P50. That's, that's the okay. cheapest one here. That's so the cheapest one here. Yeah, there you go. Damn, dude. I don't know where to start. I, don't, I know where to start. Lamborghini Mira. Everybody in the world knows that's my favorite car. Uh, I hope the keys aren't in that because you're going to lose it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That is super rad. We know about them, but the cloth inserts, they all deteriorated, so they all, they just faded. So oh, yeah. this is one of the few with actual original cloth inserts. It's got the mirrors and SV wheels instead of S wheels, because once you bought them off of the factory, they just bolt them on from Lamborghini. So sure. it's yeah. Extra. Yeah, it's cool. It's oh. a good looking car too. Do you know what that is, dude? What is it? Look at that shit, that's your tax disc. That mm. was to make sure that uh, you paid your money every uh, six months or a year for road uh, repairs yeah. and stuff back in the day. One day, one day, one if day. all this stuff on television and internets works out, I'll be uh, able to get me one of these. Did you? Pretty right. It's just freaking cool. A little Ferrari race car. Yeah. I know Chris wants to see that gold leg. <laughs> yeah, I got a soft spot for the 300 SLs. I do too. It's this got- is, This is 1,300 kilometers since 1955. 1300. And it's one pebble. It's one pebble it's That's like a thousand mil. miles. Yeah. Oh, it's locked. Oh, oh I don't blame him. I'd lock it too. What was it? Just in storage for that amount of time? So the guy who owned it had bought two of them. One was delivered painted, finished. The other one he wanted in bits as a spares and repair. So instead of it painted, he wanted paint pots. He wanted rolls of leather. He wanted no way. bits of that. So this was restored and made. But the luggage has never been opened. So. And when I open it, this is... This car's been restored, though. Uh, this has been restored. Yes, this has been restored. This is the best example. Dude, it's got, it's got, it's got the, the, the Rudge knockoffs on it. 
And it, when they restored it, every bolt was facing the exact same way. And it's literally And is this your car? Yeah. Wow. When did you acquire this? 2005. Where from? Uh, Indiv Germany. Germany. Individual Germany. or auction? Uh, no, individual. A group that only restored at the time 300 SLs. Um, they only ever restored these. And this was this wasn't great, but they made it fantastic. This thing's killer, dude. It's beautiful. Unbelievable. Look at this thing. Get rid of that snow, that yeah, leather. It's like pretty much brand new leather. But that's original Mercedes leather as well. Golly. So the car, this was the second car you bought. This was this was the second car. Yes, yeah, so this was the second car I bought. Well, that thing's nearly clean, Zach. It's nearly. I drove it the other day, so it needs cleaning. And it's filthy. Do you know what? I like that. I like the fact it looks like a museum piece, and you use it. That's yeah. kick-ass. I'm just in awe. Admittedly, well, this is the one car we don't drive that much. What but would something like this be worth on the open market? It's the gold wings were a tricky one because every single one is so different. Some of them are not touched. Some of them are touched but badly. This one, it would go to a certain type of collector, so it's who's there on the day. Wow. Every part of this is immaculate. That's as sexy as it gets right there. So this is one of the semi-original ones. So this is a CSX, so it was built by Shelby American, but like made better. So it was uprated diff, gearbox, bit more power, better to drive, because the original ones were a nightmare. Freaking cool, man. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so, I've seen a lot of cone sex, but I haven't seen a full carbon body one. Tell. This is a CCXR. Ah. So this was the first road car, but but the first car to run bioethanol, so it can run the 85. Oh, okay. Um, which I think you guys just have everywhere, which yeah. we don't. Um, and it's full carbon manual, which is nuts. Um, so what, yeah, what kind of power is this one producing? I think this is a 1200 on earth bioethanol. So this is like go to the grocery store spec for Kanye Sack, right? Yeah, and if you want something super fast, you go for the 1500 brake horsepower again. Something for the weekend, sir. So yeah, the, the Regera. Let's go look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's only got one gear. What? Yeah. It's only got one gear. You drove one, then. It's got one over. Yeah, they brought, yeah. They brought one over um, to the shop. It's an RS. It's an Agera RS, wasn't it? It was the white. It was the white one, yes. Yeah, the white one, yeah, Agera RS, yeah. Yeah, this is faster. Which is the How fast version. do we need to go? Yeah, this is this is really enough. Well, I mean, on the streets, on the track is one thing. How fast have you been in this car? I maxed out 250. 250. But it'll do zero to 250, back to zero in 26 seconds. It sounds Jeez. like a good ride. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds and like a real can, good ride. And you can stop at the shops and go, right, that was fun. <laughs> That's incredible. And it's a hybrid, so it's basically a Prius. Yeah. <laughs> So it's green at the same we're, time. We're doing the planet good with this thing. <laughs> this has got diamonds in the lacquer. So it's got crushed diamond in there, which you can see in the sun when it when it flickers. And all the gold's yeah. real. The gold is 24 karat leaf. Um, there's, there's figures on this that make every grown man wins. It's incredible, it's stupid dude. stuff like the carbon alone was almost $300,000. That's just crazy. The gold was another 150. It's freaking cool though. But it is epic. Yeah, Love it, dude. Perfect. Well, man, thanks for showing us around, Zach. This is super cool, man. Thanks, bro. We're going to go Appreciate see it. this show yeah. and come back and see you in a little yeah, we'll see bit. A bit see if I can't talk you out of that Lambo. <laughs> what is going on? Richard, welcome to the UK. I started Gas Monkey Garage in 2003 with the uh, ideology of trying to get my brand good enough and big enough and, and, and uh, what have you. Uh, it's been a heck of a time and uh, I, I couldn't have done it without uh, all you guys and gals out there that have followed us along the years and uh, enjoyed our growth and uh, our successes, our failures, you know, uh, and it's, it's been a hell of a business to be in and what we're going to do or what we've done in the last, say, eight, nine years of being on Discovery and what we're going to do in the next five is going to make the last eight look like nothing. I am fixing to go on a world dominance tour, and it's starting right here in England. All right, guys, thank you all very much. I hope I get to see every one of you. Race cars, and we're 
talking racing in cars. <laughs> There's something for everyone out here. Holy cow. That's for you, sir. What? That's because I'm a big fan. That's for yourself. Oh, awesome, man. I thought you wanted me to sign. No, that's for you. Yeah, thank you, man. You drew this? I did indeed. Very cool, very cool. Day one of Pets Are Head News of Live is done and in the can. I had a blast. I had no idea how many American automobile enthusiasts there were over here in uh, England. And uh, it's supposed to be bigger and better tomorrow. It's been a blast, as you can see, starting to thin out. And uh, I'm getting low on beer. So get you some of that while I go get me some of this. Day two, it's Nebworth House, and uh, we're hanging out at Petrohedonism Live for day two. Weather's looking a little iffy today. Maybe I didn't bring all the Texas weather, but we did have a great day yesterday, and maybe it'll hold out today. We got bikes, we got vans, we got cars, we got motorcycles, we got uh, old stuff, new stuff, uh, older new stuff, newer old stuff. This is insane. I mean, I've been to a lot of car shows before, but this one is pretty damn cool. Petrohedonism, if you're not here, you're square. So now we're hanging out with Raj at uh, Carducio, right? And Supercar Service. And Supercar Service. And some kind of supercar rap stuff. I mean, you do everything. We do everything. been a while since I've done this. Dude, it's been a while since you've looked. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you know when you got it locked in? We're going to pull the cup and then push it. Yep. Look at that. Is that all right at the top? Yeah, we'll give you a bit more. There you go. Okay. Lock it in. Do so I grab this ink or leave it there? Okay. Oh. One more time. Lift it up. Make it a winner, Richard. There you go. Not bad. Now, what do you want on the front? We go down. And then we get down. I'm, I'm, I'm jamming now. Maybe yeah, lift up. Do it again. You got it. You got it. And then we do that. Love it. What? Yes. Wow. All right, so there you go. Proof that Richard makes his own shirts. Or sure. <laughs> so with the Tesla, the only thing I don't like about it, bloody stupid key. That's the key. That's the key. Seems pretty, uh, yeah. pretty wrong. Oh, the wheel's on the other side. Hey, this one's backwards. So you're telling me that this has a sound box? It does. Outside. Yeah. So it's attached to the CAN bus. So when you rev, it actually revs. So basically you have the app. This is all connected to the CAN bus. So when you rev, you can change the sound. So at the moment we've got an M4. We can go to Porsche Panamera. We can go to Ferrari 488. Audi R8. That's and one of your favorites, we've actually got a hot rod in there as well. Now does it get louder as the car goes? It does get louder, or you can have a twin box, which is twice the sound. This has got the single box on the morning. <laughs> so confused right now. <laughs> why, don't we just, oh, why don't we just cram a V8 in there and, and it makes uh, sense, really, it? It? I think yeah. it would, but yeah. I like the idea. Nah, it's super cool, man. It's cool. So is this, the, is this the future? I don't know. Personally, I don't like the idea of replicating the sound. I think 
eventually things are going to go full circle. We'll probably get hey, back to synthetic you know, fuels. You know what's cool here is that it, it took us to come to England to hear an American-made Tesla with a V8 in it. I never heard one in America with that one. I haven't either. I didn't even know it existed. Nope. Pretty cool. Ah, right? Super cool. cool, man. Woo! What's up? What's up, everybody? I'll tell you what. This is what I say in Texas is kick ass. <laughs> All right, so uh, everybody having a good time? Yeah! Uh, day two. I wish there was a day three, maybe next year, right? Absolutely. No, Richard. I did speak to Chris a couple of years ago. I said my dream is to do Petrohedonism live in Dallas. Who wants to go to American Party? the awards to present and we've had our guest judges out there having a look at the elite fast vehicles. So uh, when uh, Chiro told me that you guys are responsible for uh, getting my Miller Lite over here, my precious Miller Lite, I was uh, definitely floored uh, and uh, at the end of the day, you know, this award says it's for recognition of service to the USA, and I think that's wrong. Uh, all of our guys and gals in all of our militaries all around the world uh, are protecting us every single day. You guys just happen to be in the branch here, and uh, I greatly appreciate the Miller Life, but I, I think everybody in this room and everybody on this planet appreciates our men and women of the service. So thank y'all. Woo! Let's go, man. Hey, 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 nice nice with us. Here with us. All right, let's do it. Like yeah, these guys have been taking great care of us in Centurion and Paul. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Your team have been gracious to us. And uh, I just love it. I, I love what you do and get up here, man. Quit being shy. It's not like you're shy or anything. And, and thank you to this uh, young lady here for uh, getting me plowed on their vodka. That was cool, too. <laughs> Richard, thank you. Woo! Holy cow, dude. Petrohedonism live was insane. I've had the best time at a car show I've ever had. My dogs are barking because you didn't tell me. I go to a lot of car shows, and most of America is just flat. Look at this. This is hills and dells and valleys and stuff. This is history right here. This is what it is. This is what England's all about. Oh, really? Like the ground in America is, is, is not as old as the ground in, in England. Well, it is. It's so flat, no one's walked on it. It's so big. Every like, population, small. No, Texas, I don't, you're, you're reaching there, old tall boy. Now, I'm telling you, <laughs> the dirt in America is just the same age. Don't worry about that. But Petrohedonism Live, we have got to bring this to America. I agree. We need to do that. This thing's been a huge success. I'm super glad that I got you you here it's taken a long time thank you very much for that thank you to chiro as our host and everyone else that made this happen thank you to you thank you to everybody and uh what are we doing now i have no idea she just did a whole freaking commercial but anyways where are we going next uh we're gonna go to lincolnshire i'm gonna show you some i'm not talking history. about just bouncing around london because i'm stuck here for three days i'm talking about where do you want me to be next you tell me i'm coming <laughs>